Hey guys, it's me, Christy Lee. Today is Saturday, February 4th. Um, I've got a couple things I want to announce and also, before I get started, um, I want to wish a happy belated birthday to my friend and viewer, Cassie. Um, her birthday was February 2nd. And I did not say happy birthday. I'm really, really, really bad about that. I'm a bad friend. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm a really bad friend. Um, so happy belated birthday, Cassie. I hope that you guys did something special and that you had a really good birthday. Um, and I want to welcome, I don't know if you're new subscribers, but I've been getting comments from people who have never commented before. Um, so whether you're brand new here or it's just your first time commenting, I wanted to say hi and thank you for being here. Um, so the first thing I want to tell you about is last night, you know, after talking to Eric about growing my channel um, and watching a couple of other YouTubers um, talk about the ways that YouTube is changing um, and how it's affecting the creators, I decided to kind of put myself on a regular uploading schedule. So what I did last night, because we were here at this job till 11 o'clock last night. He worked at one job yesterday morning. We got a little break, went to Walmart, and finally got some things we needed for the house. We now have dish soap for the first time in over a month and toothpaste for the first time in like two weeks. And you know, I fish food finally. I'm so glad. It, it, mm, anyway, I'm glad that we were able to do that. Um, I got lost. And then after we went to Walmart, we came out to this job and we were here till 11 o'clock at night. And I had a little bit of a mental breakdown in the car last night. Um, I was really, really uncomfortable. My back was hurting. My neck was hurting. My hips were hurting. And my phone died, and because my battery in my truck has been dying, I can't charge it without, you know, turning it on, letting the turning the car on and letting it run. And I can't really afford to do that because it eats up a lot of gas when you let this thing idle. I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of cars use a lot of gas doing that, but this one seems to eat a lot. So my phone was dead, and I was bored out of my mind and I tried to go to sleep and I couldn't get comfortable and I couldn't fall asleep and I just kind of lost it. I felt like a caged animal. I like kind of yelled out loud that, you know, why am I always in this fucking car? Anyway, so before that, I was writing down the schedule. So I now have here a list of videos that I'm going to do every day for the next 18 days. 18 days? Yes. Starting with today. Um, today's going to be two videos because I'm doing this vlog telling you guys about these changes and then I'm going to do a, another video. Um, and probably most days will be two videos because I want to do videos on an actual topic. Um, and then I also want to be able to do these vloggy chit chatty videos. Um, so yeah, I guess you can, or we all can kind of look forward to that. Um, at least, at least one video a day, probably two videos a day. And then I would also like to try implementing like one live feed like short live stream a day possibly using the YouTube live thing um I feel like it's uh it's running a lot better than it was when it like first started uh last year the year before I don't remember but I've been watching like Matthew Santoro he's doing like three and four live streams a day and they're short you know like six to ten minutes where he just he's like has something on his mind and he wants to talk to people about it and I think that's a great idea so I think I'm going to try to implement that um so that's basically one I wanted to tell you about and one of the things I wanted to do was on Sundays I want to pick 
like three of my subscribers to shout out. Um, I'm going to call it Sunday shout outs. Um, you know, just to, I guess, show appreciation and give back to the people who have been so supportive of me. Um, so that's that. <clears throat> yeah, so I guess that's all the businessy stuff. Um, and um, it is like crazy outside today. It is like frigid, cold, overcast, extremely windy. I mean, it's like blowing things all over the parking lot. It's freaky. And I don't have a lot of cell phone service because it's so overcast. The clouds are so... You can't see the sky at all. And they're really low. And it's... I don't know. So, it's going to be messing with my internet access today. Um, I've been on Snapchat for, I don't know, close to a week now. If any of you guys have Snapchat or do Snapchat or want to check me out on Snapchat, I've been putting my Snapchat username in the descriptions of the videos, but it's Christy Lee YT. Um, I haven't been doing much with it except for playing with the filters because some of them are just hilarious. Um, and other than that, I apologize if I've ever made anyone, you know, think that I was a lady because I'm not, I mean, I can be, I can act like a lady, but most of the time I'm not. So this next thing I'm going to tell you is not ladylike. So you might want to plug your ears if you don't want to hear this. I have been constipated for like a week now and I cannot express to you how uncomfortable it's making me. I just feel gross in my body and like anytime I drink something or eat something it makes me sick and I cannot I can't get it out it, it won't come out nothing's happening so I'm drinking my coffee extra fast this morning hoping that it'll do what it normally does it normally helps me but it hasn't been working and something needs to change because I'm just like, just, I feel so bloated and so full and it's making me nauseous and just like, it, it, it's not, if any of you have ever experienced this, it's not a good feeling. I, I remember once my mom actually went to the hospital, she thought that there was something really, really wrong with her and come to find out she had just been constipated for so long. She actually got her bowels got impacted and they had to like go in and manually help it start moving which she said was incredibly painful so I'm hoping it does not get to that <laughs> um, but yeah so I think I think he's gonna be off tomorrow and I know he's wanting to go to the flea market and see our silver guy um, we did do a small coin roll hunt yesterday in between his two jobs. Um, I, I think I told you guys we got two boxes of pennies and it turns out they were all brand new pennies. And we like to, you know, look for coppers and older pennies. So we took those back and I asked for individual, like, customer roll. We got, uh, like, ten, $5 in pennies, $10 in nickels, and $20 in dimes and try to record that for you guys but my phone would not focus and I gave up so I mean we found uh about a handful of copper one uh double die like the mechanical doubling double die 2016 uh dime and a couple of like really really nice copper pennies that look like they were brand new except they had like a little bit of black tarnishing on pieces of it but like the the luster the brand new copper penny color was there beautiful um we put those in two by twos and we found one wheat penny in two of the lincoln formative years or whatever you want to call them um and so yeah i mean also i'll try to put the clip in here somewhere when we came out of walmart 
we had a nice little surprise parked next to us. Um, that was fun. And I don't know. I think that, I don't know. I've been having weird dreams lately. Really weird dreams. Don't know where they're coming from. Um, just, just craziness. Like I usually like my dreams are, I usually dream the same kind of dreams, like the same kind of atmosphere. It's a very familiar place. I, I sometimes refer to it as my second life because I, it just seems like it's always the same, the same, the same people, the same feel, the same like atmosphere. It's, it, it feels like when I go to sleep, I just go to this other life. Well, lately they've been just strange dreams and a part of the dream last night and this isn't the strange part but I'm not going to I'm not going to talk about the strange part of the dream it's too too much but um part of my dream last night was that my family my mom and my nana and my pops and my sister showed up uh during this part of this crazy part of my dream and were like so excited because they and now that I'm thinking about it this is kind of weird but I guess somehow read my emails and I had won a trip around the world basically to visit these different countries and different places to do photography and I must have entered into like some kind of photography contest and I won this this trip and I think some kind of like internship um and they, instead of calling me and telling me about it, drove, they all drove down together, which would be really strange. And they were so excited to tell me about it. I mean, like, like, like little kids just could not wait to tell me about it. And as they're telling me about it, my cousin shows, it's like there, there was like theater seating all of a sudden. And my cousin's sitting in one of the seats in these rows. And she's like, wait a second, did you guys check into this? Because this doesn't sound legit. And so they started looking into it. And they realized that, you know, I had never signed up for anything. I, this was just one of those emails where people claim that you've won something. And then they're trying to get something out of you. And they were heartbroken. Heartbroken. They were so excited and then they were so disappointed. They were like, they were so happy for me because they know that that has kind of always been a long time dream of mine. And they felt like my life was changing and I was going to finally, and I like, they were getting ready to leave and I got out of the car. I don't know how we all got in the car together, but I went and like hugged my pops and I was just like sobbing at the fact that they were so let down and they got disappointed. Like it was killing me to see how happy they were and then to see them so let down. And like I'm hugging each one of them and I'm just like crying my eyes out and don't want to let go. And I'm like, I'm so sorry that this happened to you. I mean, what that? what is that? That's so strange. I don't know. Anyway, um... So yeah. Um, anything else, Christy? <clears throat> I don't think so. Yesterday, Eric asked if I had some paper. I guess he had to write something down. And he comes back out and he's like, did you know you had a dollar in your notebook? Remember I told you guys I stash money? I forget. I forget. Like, he here, let me find it for you. I honestly did not remember doing this. But I must have done it because of the serial number. That's the only thing I can think of. Now I can't find it. Um, but yeah, I've got a dollar bill stuffed in my notebook. There it is. Stuffed in between the pages of my notebook. And the only thing I can think is that the serial number is 81010302, which I thought was a pretty unique serial number because, you know, we did a couple bank strap hunt videos back in the day. I always look at serial numbers. Um, I save any bills like this 
because they might be valuable to somebody. I have a birthday birthday note. Yes, it's uh, 08-14-2010. So anybody born April, August 14th of 2010 might, you know, want that, that bill. So he's like, what? You got to quit hiding money like that. I was like, I don't remember doing it. And if I did, there had to have been a reason. Uh, he's like, quit. I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not going to. Um, so I think that's it. I can't think of anything else. So I'm going to go and try to use the bathroom. I'm sorry. I know that's totally TMI, but I mean, you know, you guys are my friends. And if you were here, I would tell you this, whether you wanted to hear it or not. So, and sorry, fellas. Yes, girls poop. It happens. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go in that, that direction. And if I'm successful, hopefully I'll feel better. And I'll come out and I'll start working on today's video. And then we'll see about the live stream thing. So yeah. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I love you and I will see you next time. Bye! Things got a little paranormal in Walmart today, guys. We had to call the Ghostbusters. They came out. They're inside trying to wrangle the ghostesses. How about that? This guy told me I look like a rat, so I poop seed in his cereal.